Hello and welcome back to the power shed. Don't buy this switch. I don't care what you're going to do with it. Uh, I was ready to be madly in love with this. This is only uh, $13 shipped. Jeez, it comes in a case. And what you have is uh, five contacts. Uh, two of them turn on in one direction. And two of them turn on in the other direction. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. And uh, my idea was I had some panels and I was going to switch from 60 volts in parallel to 120 volts in series. Uh, this was to run my uh, washing machine directly off uh, solar panels. So, uh, yeah, there's this little jumper in here uh, that's on uh, this side and it jumps from here to there. And all you got to remove that is so there's uh, internal jumpers here, here, and uh, two over here. And, uh, you know, it's a reversing relay. You know, so, uh, anyways, I had this all hooked up, and uh, immediately flames started coming out of it. You know, if, if you switched it, you know, you get this blue arc, it has copper contacts. Now, you know, copper and silver are the worst thing in the world for DC but I was going to be switching this under no load and actually I actually had a switch that removed the 60 volts from my other system and the only thing that would be connected up would be uh, 60 volts from my uh, extra spare panels and uh, you know I started getting flames I tried all kind of different things uh, putting additional you know this additional free contact in series and you know wheeled everything around it appears that in order to save a little bit of plastic they uh, you know made the cam a little bit smaller than it should have been and so what happens is uh, two of these contacts well but you know both of them when you transition transition from one to the other I mean they should be on in the center everything off and the other side you know on again and uh, that's not hard to do you know it's almost impossible to make this wrong but they did it so let me get this box out of here so if we look at this meter If I had an LED, I could catch it faster, but you can see it's on resistance, and when you switch from on to uh, the center off position, it's shorting out these two contacts, and of course that's shorting out the panel, and uh, you get flames. So uh, I don't know what they're going to do when you put this on, the, you know, they rate it for three, 380 volts, uh, 60 amps, so... Uh, I don't know. There's going to be some flames when you uh, switch, you know, 380 volts AC. But, uh, you know, if you do it fast and you can get by. But uh, I'm sure they've had some complaints. And it's all because they saved a little bit of plastic. It's a shame because this is, uh, you know, would have been a nice little switch. 13 bucks for a switch in a case. Hell, I could take the switch out and just use the case. That's a deal. But uh, this is a serious problem. So let's look at the schematic here. Show you what I was doing. Like I say, on this side, uh, we moved this jumper that looks like this. So everything over here in green, uh, that's the switch contacts. These are the, the jumpers. And so this over here... The panels would be in series. This is a set of panels here that are uh, coming from the array. And this is the, the panels I have on my garage. And then you go over here and you see the contacts switch over to, these are always pairs, and they switch over to the other one. And uh, should have been a problem. You know, it should have been a, a great thing for uh, taking. Uh, a solar panel and testing 
Do you get more power in series or parallel? You know, would have been fun. But no, this shorts out everything. And, uh, you know, if you were 12, 24 volts, you'd probably be, you could probably get away with it. But uh, I was doing two 60 volt arrays. And, I mean, it, it finally stopped working. It burned up the contacts. But they're easy, they're easy to fix. You know, there's a little, these little screws on the side. You pull that out, and this is a contact that comes out. And if you do the same thing on the other side, you could remove the other contact. But I was able to get down there and scratch it and clean it up. So, I still have a switch, if I dare. So, thanks for watching.